Nitrogen Nitrogen is an element. It is essential to all life. And it is 3% of human biomass. Nitrogen is the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere. But most of it exists as molecular nitrogen, a non-reactive gas, and cannot be used by plants and animals. But bacteria in soil and water can fix molecular nitrogen and create reactive nitrogen, making it available for plants and then for animals. Natural reactive nitrogen has been used in agriculture since the beginning of civilization, but it was never enough to feed humankind. Since 1910, it was possible to create reactive nitrogen and make it available to agriculture in fertilizers. Fertilizers support half the population living today. But we use too much reactive nitrogen in intensive agriculture. For example, out of 100 molecules of reactive nitrogen produced, only 94 are applied to the crop. But only 47 are taken up by the crop. Only 31 are harvested. Only 26 go to the food. And only 14 are absorbed into our organism. And that's for a vegetarian diet. Thus, a large amount of reactive nitrogen is lost into the environment. Moreover, combustion in transports and in energy production put further reactive nitrogen into the environment, causing environmental impacts. It creates eutrophication, algal blooms, and aquatic dead zones. In the atmosphere, it creates air pollution and health problems and contributes to greenhouse gases. Nitrogen-sensitive species disappear from all ecosystems, which reduces biodiversity. And it also degrades soil quality. So, how can we minimize the impact as individuals? By eating less meat, a very inefficient process to obtain nitrogen. Only 4 out of 100 molecules of reactive nitrogen are absorbed. And we are eating too much animal protein anyway. While we only eat 0.6% from the 4% recommended legume protein. And in the end, we even waste 25% of all the food produced. How can we minimize the effects at a global level? We can optimize our fertilization methods by using only the right amount of fertilizer and thus avoid wasting reactive nitrogen. We can also use non-fossil energy that creates far less reactive nitrogen. With these options, we can cut the excess of reactive nitrogen, avoiding costs of up to 6.8 euros for each kilogram of nitrogen. And the most important reward, a more sustainable planet and a better environment for all.